To begin the labeling PCR, return to the PCR area and refer to the labeling PCR in the quick guide and the worksheet. Using the table, make the appropriate mixture for the number of slides to be used using the following reagents. You'll use the PCR buffer 10X from the Roche kit, MgCl2, the magnesium, the DNTP mix, and the Fast Start TAC. Pathogen DX provides the BSA, which should now be at a working concentration, and primer set 2 for bacteria and primer set 2 for fungal. Note that there is no longer any positive control added to the PCR mix as this was added in the loci PCR and is not needed for the labeling reaction. For each of these, you will make one master mix for bacteria and one for fungal. Ensure that the appropriate primer set is used for bacteria and the appropriate primer set is used for fungal. Continuing to follow the worksheet, pipette the appropriate master mix into each well, making sure that bacterial PCR master mix is added to the wells designated for bacterial samples and the fungal PCR master mix is added to the wells designated for the fungal samples. Once you've plated your labeling PCR master mix, remove the plate from the PCR area and place in the post-PCR or hybridization area. Your loci PCR is now complete and may be removed from the thermal cycler Remove the pressure pad and briefly spin the plate down. Once the centrifugation is complete, remove your plate and carefully peel back the seal to avoid contaminating any of the wells. Once the seal has been removed, pipette one microliter from the loci PCR plate directly into the labeling PCR well. Ensure that bacterial samples are added to bacterial samples and fungal samples are added to fungal samples to avoid any contamination issues. Once the PCR product has been moved from the loci PCR plate to the labeling PCR, it may be sealed If you want to keep the loci PCR product, Use a foil seal, which may be placed in the fridge at 4 degrees for up to two weeks. Once you have sealed your labeling PCR plate, place in the centrifuge and briefly spin down. Once the plate has spun, place your labeling PCR plate into your thermal cycler with the pressure pad brown side up and follow the program set on the labeling PCR worksheet.